Hey guys, my name's Brad. Grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. Well, our text today is from the Gospel of John. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. So here's what is recorded for us in God's Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through the world was made and, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to those who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, and the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. But the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. Well, for the month of December, we are going to be camping out here in John chapter 1. And so I share this with you and ask as your minister to just study over this passage, reflect on it, and not only pray over it, but pray for us as we will be sharing uh, Sunday mornings uh, here at uh, in, in the beginning of John's gospel. So this is the last through the word of the 2024 year. But we want you guys to stay tuned because we are really excited with what we have planned for this upcoming year. So we will be back together through the word on January the 1st, uh, 2025. And so please be in prayer for us, but we are very excited uh, to, to, to share with you guys what's been on our heart as we continue to study God's word together. So let me close out with a word of prayer as we wrap this up. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many ways you bless us. Uh, and we thank you for the, the gift that is your word. Um, and I think we all can agree as, as we... Um, recognize your word for what it is, that, that we don't spend enough time uh, in it. Your word is living and active, and so I pray, Lord, that we are encouraged to draw close to your word, uh, to, to, to learn what you've revealed to us in your word, and to appreciate that you've given us your word. Thank you for the opportunity that we have to share together in your word, and, and something like this in a short time that we can be together and study. To you be the glory, Lord, and we just pray these things now in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell.